This instructional video is designed to show you how to find an expression for statistical entropy. We have here a problem statement and once we read through it we'll be able to go through the steps necessary to solve for an expression for S equals KB ln W. Reads consider 300 carbon atoms, half are SP hybridized, one third are SP2 hybridized, and the remainder is an even split between SP3 and unhybridized. And we're asked to find an expression for statistical entropy. Well, this is S equals K ln W, where W is this expression, script A factorial, over the product J equals 1 to N, a sub j factorial. Now in order to write out an expression for this, we have to do three things. First, we'll need to identify the number of particles in our system. That's going to be script A. We'll need to identify the number of states these particles can go into. That gives us a value for n. Once we have those, the last thing we have to do is identify the rule for being admitted to any specific state. And that will determine the number that we place in for A sub J. In this case, a uh, number of particles is already given to us. We have 300 carbon atoms. So we have something for script A. Now, the number of states, we have SP, SP2, SP3, and unhybridized for four states. And the rule, then, is given in the rest of the description. So we can write it out unhybridized SP, SP2, and SP3. So we're told that half of these are SP hybrids, so half of the 300 is 150. Uh, we have one-third as SP2, one-third of, one, of 300 is 100, so we have 100 here. This leaves us with 50 particles remaining, so those 50 carbon atoms are split evenly between the unhybridized and the sp3 hybridized. And so in this case, we can now write out the expression for W. The total number of particles is 300. And now we're going to multiply. So A1 may are unhybridized, that would be 25 factorial. A2 150 factorial, A3 100 factorial, and A4 25 factorial. Now you'll note that the total number of particles spread across all of the possible states must equal the total number of particles in the system. And so by applying that rule, we can then plug into some kind of computer to calculate these factorials, we may pull a few tricks to simplify it, but ultimately, once we have this number for W, we can plug in for our natural log of W, multiply that by our constant, and that will give us a value for the statistical entropy of our system. 